Hi, I'm Malia Edwards. I'm an assistant professor at the Wilmer Eye Institute at Johns Hopkins University. And I've been studying choroideremia for about seven years now. I got into studying choroideremia by uh, my, I worked with Jerry Luddy, who was a leading choroidovascular biologist. And we received some donor eyes of choroideremia from choroideremia by patients. And we've been looking at the structures within these eyes, the pathology in these eyes to better understand the disease process. This is actually the, my first conference that I've attended for the Croydoremia uh, Foundation, so I'm really excited to be here. I think this foundation is fantastic. I've been excited about the work we've been able to do, starting to do the research that we've been doing with the foundation and looking at ways we can expand the research and look for better cures. It'll give me this unique perspective of really interacting potentially with patients and you know, help put a more of an emphasis on why we do what we do. And I think that's a lot of my research is focused on macular, macular diseases. And it's easy to put, to just see, think of things as a disease. But when you really see the personal aspects, and again, that's what's always impressed me with the Corridoremia Foundation, is just the family, that it's families driving this. And it's so impressive to see the hard work and dedication that's put in to driving this foundation. And this, I mean, look at this meeting and it's amazing what, you know, I think they said 165 people are registered. So I think that's fantastic to show everyone's, you know, showing their support and just lending the support to the patients as well to help them understand and the families to help them understand the disease. Um, Dr. Letty received a grant along with David Gam several years ago to study, to create a model, potential model for choroideremia and also to study the potential of stem cell transplantation. Uh, along the course of that, we also received donor eyes and we've been studying these, looking at the pathology in these eyes most recently. Obviously, that's the only way we can do the research. And I think the foundation does a great job of generating and it's um, always impressed me, I guess, the enthusiasm that you see within these, within the, within the foundation and the, those people running the foundation, obviously they're patients and families, family members of patients. And as a researcher, it's very interesting for me and it kind of reminds me why we do what we do. And it puts a more personal aspect on the research and makes us more invested in the research. So in addition to the funding that, funding that we've received from Croydoremia, which obviously we can't do the research without some sort of research is not cheap. So we do need funding to do the research. One of the big reasons I'm here at the meeting is to talk about the eye donor program where we take eyes from when people pass away, we get their eyes and use them for research. And what I'll be talking about is how much we can gain from this. And it really helps us get a better understanding of the disease and nothing can really mimic this, what we see in human eyes. And we, this really lets us gain an appreciation for the disease pathology and looking at both affected donors and also female carriers will help us better understand the disease. And I want to emphasize to people that re as researchers, we really t consider looking at donor tissue as a privilege. This is not something we take for granted and we know how precious this tissue is. And that I think is a gift that families really give to science. And it's a gift that when you make that decision to donate and you tell your family that you've made that decision, uh, we know that this is a difficult discussion and a difficult decision, but at the same time, it's something, this is a way to have a living legacy and really transfer your, you know, really have a living legacy that will go on to help generations of patients with choroideremia. And I think that can't be overstated. And for us as researchers, it's such a privilege to be able to work on, work on tissue and help us gain that understanding. really a privilege to be here and to get a chance to interact with patients and learn more about choroideremia from a patient side I think because as, as scientists we you know we learn more of the science we learn it more as if at a probably a different level I guess and it'll be interesting to learn from a patient's perspective a little bit more and to gain more of an understanding of what patients understanding is and I'm hoping that by attending here this will help give me more ideas and help us some of the scientists that are attending as well to kind of brainstorm new ideas as to how we can further the research into choroideremia to help find 
a cure eventually.